Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Stellaris, where we last left off. Uh, we had started the war with the UN and the Confederation of Irvolta. The war is still going. You can see, things are looking pretty good. We're doing, we're doing well. Um, they have no interest whatsoever in accepting our war demands. We need to get war score up a little bit. To do that, we need to be able to uh, take out their frontier outposts, which have a strength of about 2,000. So, with our with our fleet of corvettes, it's kind of iffy. Um, we're getting very close to getting destroyers. In fact, let's just unpause so we can get some time to combine. We're very close to getting destroyers. Uh, and since <clears throat> the cockroaches and the UN both are using missiles, then what I would like to do is phase myself over to more of a destroyer fleet, because we can rock point defense on those and prevent uh, these guys from hitting us at all. So then, in theory, when we go to knock down these two uh, frontier outposts, it won't really matter uh, how many ships we got, because if we got <clears throat> every ship with point defense, then they're not going to be able to hit us. Uh, but we're... We're still four months, well, now three months away from getting destroyers up. Then we've got to uh, upgrade all of our spaceports. Then we've got to actually start building the destroyers. We're a little ways away. We have a little bit of fleet capacity for them. Where are they headed? Uh, attacking Unity. Really? And that's with our defensive... Uh, structure there, which will, you know, lull those guys in. Uh, I don't necessarily know that we want to send the fleet. Are they... I imagine they're going to come here. We don't have the defensive structure set up there yet. We should have them set up there. You're coming into Edlamar, which means <clears throat> we'll turn you off of that, because if that's where this fleet goes... Just waiting, just waiting to see where this fleet goes. Any they went that direction, eh? Okay. <clears throat> then I think we can safely send the fleet up there. And let's let's see how that defensive station holds out. They're still going for unity. I think those jumps are close enough, like we won't engage if uh, our fleet winds up in the same area, but it probably won't. <clears throat> then these guys are going to jump in here. Right? You're still doing that, right? Yeah. Alright. Just send them that way. Okay, so their fleet jumped in right on top of the sun. And how are things looking? Our defensive platform, like the shields dropped almost immediately, which is fine. But it seems to be holding together fairly well. And now I would just... Ah! Uh, of course not. They just fleed, that's all. Following the second fleet. But I don't imagine... Where is the second? Well, who knows where the second fleet is. <clears throat> Send you over there for now. And then we could once... Oh, no, that's the science ship. Where's my construction ship? Chillin' over here where we had to build the frontier outpost. Of course that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's let's actually start researching that, shouldn't we? I think we should. Uh, what do we want after? Do we want some energy weapon damage? We are rolling energy weapons, aren't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, let's get some more energy weapon damage. Why not? It... <laughs> I was gonna say, it won't take long. Yeah, well, we don't have good science. That's fine. All right, unemployment on Unity. <clears throat> I don't know what I want to do with you necessarily. Like, that's not a good idea. Um, we could send them to Abyssus. How's Durkheim looking? Or Durkheim. Huh. Resettle, we'll put you on Abyssus. Right? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Food production's looking okay? It is for now, but we can always throw someone on top of another farm at a later date. Time projects we're working on, that's fine. Uh, 280 to get that going. And let's also get our destroyer design then. Now, I don't think we necessarily want to be rocking a large and two smalls. Heck, did we research missiles? We don't care about those. Um... Oh, yeah, no, that was... I'm on the... I'm on the trolley now. <clears throat> that was a scientific research thingy. So, what do we want to do? Probably a gunship bow, but a picket stern. And... Like so. Autocomplete this ship. Looks good. The Undaunted Destroyer class. Sure. I mean, it's looking a little, it's looking a little space pancakey, but that's fine. We'll save the Undaunted class, and we can start producing those as soon as we get our space stations built up to support that. Except so we've met the Sporks. <clears throat> Alien creatures. I speak on behalf of Grand Marshal Morzak, the undisputed ruler of the Spork Order. Respect our borders and keep out of Spork affairs, and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your wretched worlds. Oh, but Sporks, we share the same. Well, no, we'll go with We Fight for a Right to Exist. I think that'll impress the Sporks more. And as you can see, the Sporks, they've done a fairly decent job of uh, plumping themselves out, out there. So that's good. And I think diplomatically, we should be fairly neutral towards each other. And um, I'm sure at some point they will... You want a white peace humanity? No. And it's funny, because I want those two stations destroyed. But I like that they're looking for a white peace. That means that things aren't going as well for them as they would like it to go. Which I think is pretty freaking clear. We're almost a 20% war score after all, so... So that's good. Where are you going? Attacking Unity? We should be able to get our fleet in position before they get there. And then it should just be a matter of actually being able to fight them. Well, I mean, two destroyers and a corvette are going after Unity? Okay. It's cute. Technology secured. They're not going to do anything. That's the thing. <clears throat> More tech researched from these jerk stores, first navy cluster, that's the first fleet. So, I wonder if they're all meeting up in UN space and then coming piecemeal to attack Unity, I guess? I don't know, it doesn't seem like they've got a good plan here. Which I'm fine with. We may even get... Hey, you guys want to attack that fleet? Construction complete. What a rebuild. Okay, good. The spaceport on Unity is done. You can see, to just produce destroyers, these things are up to level 5, or 5,000 strength. And we know these guys have destroyers in their fleet, so... We know that there's gonna be... Quite a lot of, of very strong space stations there. Following third fleet, third fleet, uh, going to oh yeah, going back to Earth. 
then that's a spaceship of some foreign scientist. Let's get you up here to research those projects. Because I think it's pretty clear that, you know, they're not going to be coming. They're not going to be coming for, uh, to Deneb for a while. With only one destroyer, we are also in no position to, uh, launch against the frontier outposts. Because one, one destroyer with point defense is not going to be enough to overwhelm the missiles coming off of a station. But we're getting there. Excuse me while I blow my nose. Terribly sorry for that. <clears throat> and yeah. Yeah, they're all heading down trying to trying to merge up yet again. Are you willing to negotiate some of this stuff now? No. No, you're not, huh? Even though we've we've had a fairly victorious war so far. Merging. Yeah. Can we get another destroyer rolling? I've only got the one space station built up for now, and uh you know, we'll we'll get Ed Lamar or we'll get Durkheim and Abyssus those space stations upgraded as well, uh in in due time. Um hmm, naval capacity seems like a good idea. I also saw a suggestion to come after these guys. Um, they're pre-sapients, they're not, they're not, uh, the other thing? <laughs> like, primitives? Yeah. So, I can't land on this planet. I'd have to colonize this planet, uh, to get access to the, the, the Krillians, um, who have a tomb world habitability bonus and a, and a tundra preference. Uh, that is probably... Let's be honest, these guys are probably going to wind up dead because we're going to terraform that planet eventually. I'm not, I'm not going to rush to get pre-sapiens. If they were, like I say, if they were Stone Age or above and I could just land some armies on it and get some slaves rolling, I would. That's not the situation in, in Zithri. So we're going to just pretend like these guys don't exist and then terraform them away. We've also got, obviously, this planet to colonize. My god, look at the amount of stuff here. <clears throat> but we will worry about that at a later date. Oh, I'd love to get things upgrading. But, alas, uh, can we throw down maybe another one of those? We still have plenty of minerals, which is good. <clears throat> I mean, uh, energy, I mean. Um, so let's do that. Just to help things out there. You, uh, can't, yeah, I was gonna say, you can't be throwing yourself against Unity. That would be ridiculous. So we got two destroyers rolling here now. Um, and I mean, I guess we didn't, we didn't necessarily need to throw shields on these guys. I'll have to remember to upgrade those Corvettes after the war. Yeah, that's good. We're getting coil gun research and, and all sorts of stuff done there, so that's that's lovely. And our fleet strength! Our fleet strength, let's kick this up to speed two. We've been going around at speed one for 13 minutes? Come on, we're never gonna get anything done. <clears throat> Two forty-four. So would it be better to like Oh, you're attacking Abyssus now. Well, you still won't win. Is the thing. But hey, if you want to attack the entire station, go right ahead. Let's just pull this up and see how our space station is doing. And yeah, we don't even need to throw the fleet into this, I don't think. I mean, the shields aren't even dropping on the spaceport. 
governor. So we only have one governor. And let's go with... Uh, I mean, we could probably do with the... With the science boost, so Mavis West can go ahead and do that. Complete. Yeah, now that fleet's gonna start melting. Oh, they've sent more ships. And they continue to send more ships. I mean, again, the spaceport's holding. And this Federation fleet should just start melting away soon here. Can I not? Of course I can. Just, I'm not looking at the right place, that's all. Yeah, the shields are starting to drop on the space station, but they're like, mm, we're out. So, I mean, let's send the fleet up to Durkheim. And let's be confident in our ability because those guys aren't. A small celestial object with pronounced gaseous and particulate trails, tails, was recently observed in the Deneb system. Oh, lovely, just a little, just a little. Are you going anywhere or are you just going to get, you're just going to get destroyed? Well, that's lovely, isn't it? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to need like a few more destroyers for sure. Um, yeah, you're upgraded. So, I don't... Mm, like, getting Abyssus rolling would be good. I just don't think economically... Right now, we gotta build fleets. Ah, uh, let's go with the 32-year-old genius. It seems like a good idea. And you're just merging up with the first Navy cluster. That's fine. We got a 30% war score, and you guys... Oh my god. Oh my god, they'll accept it. Destroy those two frontier outposts. Send the demands. Ah! Oh, peace reigns in the Commonwealth of Man! Whew! Okay, let's get our fleet back over to Deneb. Or to Unity. Because that's a good thing. Yeah, there's, there will be peace between us, you idiots. Uh, excellent. Okay, so, uh, one of the first things I'm going to want to do... One of the first things I'm going to want to do is secure that planet. Just like we did back here. And it's 200, I think? No, it's much more than that. Uh, the Sporks have entered a defensive pact with the Elves. It's an interesting situation, but I guess, you know, they got the the Takaris Assimilators in between the two of them. I have a feeling that the, the Takaris Assimilators will not be lasting too long. Indeed. All right. Well, now, now we can start blowing money on other things. First things first. Uh, maybe not necessarily... Uh, Bio research. Well, no, I guess bio research is next in line. Let's get some actual proper science stations going up here. Um, we got the two thing. Well, we don't have an energy thing, but that's okay because we're rocking the Bethurian stone there. So let's go and get a 150. Oh, we're just, just, just a little, little, little time off. Lovely, thank you. Mineral processing facility on Abyssus. That's going to be nice, I think. As we build up uh, the industry on our planets, you know, obviously we'll be bringing in more and more minerals as the industry gets built up, so we should start to be able to expand again. But right now, you know, I'd love to throw down two colonies right away, but economically I just don't think we can do that it's uh, you know the timing's not right we need to build up before we can build out 
And, I mean, Durkheim's kind of close to that. Uh, can you... Yeah, like, we should have... I guess... You're not a very good scientist. So that's gonna suck. Um... 766. And then, yeah, shockingly, zero all across the board. Science ship coming assist... Oh, we don't have assist research yet? Oh my god! Okay, that's fine. We'll get there. Hmm. Our energy is still doing okay. So we could maybe look to picking up some more mining stations out there, out in the wild blue yonder, wild black yonder. Um, but we should also probably get that guy moving over here. Because it wouldn't surprise me at all if these jerkwads just, like, set down a frontier outpost out here, now that we've told them no. And I think... Yeah, we could come and start researching some stuff out here, so maybe we should. I think we got 10 years. <clears throat> we might as well try to learn as much as we can of, uh, of, of what's going on in the UN. Uh, particle lances, stop tempting me. Uh, yeah, new new shield tech is fine. We lost our admiral, which is okay. We don't necessarily need to worry about that for now. Uh, Governor Mavis West, and I wouldn't, well, you know what, we'll leave the, the ship design as it is right now. Yeah. But, uh, we can start focusing on things that are not ship production, which is gonna be nice. Do I have that on Unity? I do. So let's get that going here. Where is it? There it is. <clears throat> and food is still looking okay. Right? Yeah. I might want to upgrade some of those farms. We got, like, we got a lot of farming on, on Unity, which, if I'm honest, will probably not always be focused so much on farming over there. Might get ourselves some, uh, you know, other things. I'm also thinking maybe building up some more research on Unity itself would be a good idea. Hmm. Things to consider. Things to consider as the money rolls in, and the money is rolling in quite nicely at the moment. So, let's get that built. And then we won't necessarily have to worry about our borders at all. Uh, not that we can, you know, sit back and say, hey, this is, this is all we need. It's not. Believe me, I've got my eye on this sector of space right here. I don't know what you're saying, history nerd. Those cockroaches live on savannas. I have a plan for that. Alright, we got some energy weapon production boost thingies going on there. That's good. Um, ship all points is probably a good idea. Although, I'm looking at this and I'm like, let's get that done, right? And then, let's maybe get that done. Uh, advanced commercial port part of the mods that I have installed, but instead I think we will go with a planetary capital. Huge investment! Yes, I understand, but believe me, we need it. Um, at this stage, we can probably afford to get a little bit more bioscience going on there, and we got some bioscience there. We should probably also clear this stuff out. Just so we can get some sciencey stuff going soon. Not necessarily right away. Again, 41 minerals a month. That's not good. I'd like that to be much higher, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's get that, because that's going to take forever. We don't need two projects that are going to take us over 100 months. That would just be unnecessary. 
Star system charted. Okay, what do we learn about Sirius? They have a dinky little space station. They are a direct democracy. That's interesting. And uh, that's what the planet's looking like. And then we'll go check out Minshir. See if we can get uh, Soul taking a look at too. Basically, I'm um, the the rest of these things fine. Whatever. I'm more interested in uh, just seeing the colonies of the people that I have just won a war against. I think you only get ten years before these things close up. That's fine. I just I want to see. <laughs> I'm plotting future conquests. Now, obviously, we don't have to really worry about conquests anywhere, uh, military academy, lovely, uh, down here, you know, taking over other human worlds is going to be just fine for our human selves. Over here, uh, my plan is to not necessarily purge. I don't, I think even, even a nation like the Commonwealth of Man would probably take some kind of moral issue with wiping out four entire planets filled with sentient cockroaches, even though they are disgusting cockroaches and they have no place in, in you know, a human world. Um, it's, you know, to wipe out everybody, that's that's a little extreme. So my plan is to not only make the, the cockroaches not feel welcome in the Commonwealth of Man by having them, you know, in a caste system, and then probably used exclusively for farming and mining. Uh, I'm also going to terraform all of their planets into continental worlds because, I mean, you know, we're humans, we live on continental worlds, and then hopefully they'll just leave, is, <laughs> is my plan. I just want to push them out far enough, you know, just just encourage them to leave so that, you know, in, maybe in a hundred years, it's, it's all humans. We don't have to worry about that going after the UN because they're all human. So, Grand Marshal Sidney Beauclair is dead. We're going to have an election for our next leader. And I'm not going to lie, I'm taking a look at, at uh, Nakamura here and I'm thinking, oh, well, she'd be pretty good. Um, but she's also 73. Mavis West? Slave optimizations without slaves? We don't really need to worry about that. So it's going to be between... Uh, Mia Nakamura or Yan Shen? I think we're going to go with Yan Shen. Lovely. <clears throat> I was going to say, I don't know what Yan was doing, but she was a doctor, so... Uh, okay. Bamboshi? Captain Bamboshi? <laughs> Where are you? You're over here? Yeah, keep surveying. Keep surveying worlds. Let's go take a look at those. And then hopefully we can come back and take a look at this. There we go. Right, and that's just the frontier of us. We don't care about that. Ooh, okay. Our borders are secure. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that strange? I haven't had that forever. Um, so I think actually going back this direction to uh, Furkat 2 is going to be the better bet. Taking a look at it, there's there's a lot of resources here that I would like to keep. And, you know, other than the Bethyrian stone, I'm taking a look. If we put the, the, the capital here, we have a lot. Well, no, I guess there is a little bit of... So we put the thing there and lose out on two minerals. But, I mean, we're going to have... Hmm, what do we do? Maybe put it here? So we got bonuses to one of each. I think that's going to be the best bet. Yeah. Almost there. And I hear what you're saying. Do we actually, do, really, do we need to go after a fourth planet uh, before getting places like Durkheim and, and Abyssus, and in fact, even Unity fully built up? And the answer to that is yes, absolutely. We need to push out. Because right now, we're just kind of sitting here, spinning our wheels, um, and yeah, we need to, we need to push out. So we'll, we'll do that. But I mean, we also need to build up too, right? 
<laughs> like we need to push out, upgrade two buildings. Yeah, that's that's pushing out all right. Well, let's Stars upgrade some more buildings. Get some more energy production going as well. <clears throat> And yes, I know, we need uh, mining stations as well, and probably also an improved fleet. We need everything. There's there's no question there. We need everything. And uh, we're not in a position to get everything. But at least, at least we'll be able to max out our, our colony limit here. Um, and, you know, with the ability to terraform... You know, we'll get two more planets? I mean, that's not much. It's not, we're not in a good position. We need to push east. Which, you know, taking a look at, at how this turned out, I think going this way is a much better idea. And in fact, I should probably get a science ship uh, out there to do that. Because now that I look at it, you know, we do have a bit of a route down. Once they get past these guys, yeah, probably not, but... You know, that's okay. <clears throat> I, and then what I mean by that is, is uh, once we get past these guys, these guys will probably grow down south. Although we have seen that they tend to... Yeah, an archaeologist, that sounds great. Now, the Dr. Captain Alice Graham, head out that way. Move there. Well, I mean, obviously survey that system. And then from here, I'm just going to tell her to auto-explore, and she should just continue to go east. And, and like I say, taking a look at it, the rim might be the best spot for our expansion here. Uh, we're kind of up against the wall this direction. And this way, yeah, like, I mean, you know, once we get strong enough, we can take on the humans. But unfortunately, once we get strong enough and take the humans, uh, then we're slapped at between the Spwarfs and the Spelves. Both of those guys are looking a little bit bigger than, uh, than me. You know, that's, that's scary. <clears throat> Construction. Yeah, those guys are going off in that direction. Good, we got, yeah, build some mining stations there. Why not? We'll wind up settling here and using it, so that's that's perfectly fine. <clears throat> we got a temple on Unity next. Durkheim's looking pretty good, actually. Uh, let's swap you around so we can get the mineral production going that we need to. Food is looking like a bit of a concern. So... At our next chance we will start upgrading some farms. Like now. Obviously these upgrades aren't gonna go aren't gonna do too much. It's only gonna be two more food. And I would I desperately love to get a good old fashioned um farming planet, but we'll see. Star chart trade? Sure. Uh they've actually done some looking at I mean at least we know the names of of systems over here, but it doesn't look like there's a much of anybody over there. And then, of course, you know, they've done their thing here, and it looks like the Takaris Assimilators might be coming this direction. We might want to get a Frontier Outpost of sorts up over here. Obviously, first off, we want to get uh, these guys. These guys nice and, and safely secured. Oh, look at that, a two-planet system. I like two-planet systems, because then we'll terraform this and have even more wealth. Yes, I'm a big fan of terraforming. I understand that there's, you know, there's there's two different ways to look at it. Um, you know, is it better to, to like, conquer? Right, well, maybe there's three ways to look at it. Is it better to conquer the people that you want to have live on planets that aren't, aren't yours? Do you want to uh, genetically engineer your your species or other species so that they can live on certain planets. You just want to terraform it, and and I just want to terraform it. It's easier to change a planet than it is to change a person. So look, look, listen to that nugget of wisdom. It's entirely untrue. Construction. Well, that's neither here nor there. Where where are you going? So we know we know what's going on in Earth, then, huh? So let's take a look at some of their colonies, then, shall we? So we got Tuscany, the direct democracy. 
We've got uh, Delgovicha, which is, you know, a colony on a crappy desert world. 30% habitability. Imagine these people aren't all that pleased, but it looks like, hey, they got genome mapping and harmony. Oh, harmony tradition. Well, wow, that's an interesting choice. Humans, uh, let's take a look at old Earth. You know, looking nice with a paradise dome. Yeah, I would very much like to conquer these worlds. Uh, same thing going on over here. Except no paradise dome, but they got a nice hollow temple. Because they are spiritualists too. Oh, and a ruined Dyson sphere? I mean, it's going to be a little while before humanity is able to, to utilize all of that. And by then, they will at least be our vassal. I hope. Because <clears throat> it looks like they've got, what, four colonies? And, uh, and, and, uh, frontier outpost out there. But it doesn't really look like they've got much room for expansion, right? So, I mean, they're sandwiched between those two things. We could easily wind up vassalizing those guys at some point soon. And then, you know, once you vassalize, you just absorb, and bango, bango, bongo, you've got people in your thing. You got more humans in your empire. There we go. That's kind of what I was looking for, although not really. But hey, you know what? Let's not split hairs over things like that. <clears throat> okay, everybody's going after the Takaris assimilators. I mean, I can understand it. They're assimilators. So... Yeah, thank you. Scientist Nakamura... Was she just sitting around not doing anything? She didn't win the election, so she was just like, no. Oh. oh, hum. What do we got? A continental world right off the bat. Look at that. The nice thing is, nobody can come through. Well, maybe the Spwarfs can. I think I've got open borders with them still. Still because they don't, you know, want to colonize and take my planets. We could open our borders back up to these guys if we wanted to. I don't necessarily want to uh, at the moment. Because I would assume they've still got open borders between those two. In fact, let's take a look. I mean, not that we can see all the way. If we wanted to, we could. Yeah, so I mean, the only people the spells hate are the Takaris Assimilators. Takaris Assimilators hate everybody. Sporks like the elves, but they're not really a big fan of anybody else. Uh, the UN is not a big fan of us, but they like everybody else except the Takaris Assimilators and the Sporks. Obviously, the Spwarves seem to be getting along with everybody. Uh, aside from, you know, the Takaris Assimilators and the Sporks, that's fine. The Space Cockroaches, other than the... Well, no, they've got some friends. And us, we've got some some friends too. It's an interesting, it's a weird, you know, galaxy we've got going on here. And I'm sure it's just the mainly the connection between the two humans that are that are causing so much of the animosity in this area of space. Uh, let's get a bigger spaceport. You know what? F it. Let's just go down that route. Uh, Trailblazer has lost access unsurprisingly Construction. but hey at least we get to see their entire uh, nation is out of fog of war now so that's good and obvious clearly this half of the galaxy is is getting nicely populated what's going on with the other half right well the freaking ambassador here with captain graham sorry science captain dr captain is is going to be heading out to find out Food's looking okay, so we can start focusing on building up other things, like maybe a mine here would be nice. Seems like a good idea. And soon we should go after this planet as well. So a nice, uh, a nice little peaceful change here as, as the galaxy sort of calms down. And thankfully, the, I mean, the only enemies we have are these two guys, and we're in a good position to, uh, to continually fight them, which is nice! So, we got some space cockroaches out there. How's this planet looking? It's looking pretty, pretty decent. Certainly worth living on at some point. Uh, we should probably get you building a hollow temple. 
because that'll be necessary. And Durkheim, maybe we'll clear off the last two tiles for you. There we go. Stop that's looking good. Uh, Ambassador, go nuts, buddy. That's awesome. Uh, you are in Stenlar, so I'd rather have you come back. Do we still not have assist research? We still do not have assist research. <sighs> so how else am I going to get you? How else am I going to get you upgraded? Send you on a wild goose chase halfway across the galaxy, but then get 20 years later, you make it home? I don't know what I'm going to do with with uh, the Trailblazer and Captain Bang Boshi. At least not until I can get um, assist research so I can actually give them something to do. Why are we not doing anything on Abyssus? Abyssus could probably build a mine over there. Temple's almost done. Clearing out those last two tiles is almost done. Which means we can get a little bit of scientific development going on in Durkheim. Not much, but, you know, a little bit's better than nothing. Construction complete. Mm -hmm. And... Do I really... If I was going to upgrade anyone, it would be this guy. That one seems kind of unnecessary with only three free food to help out. Um, I want to wait just because I want to get this colony going. Uh, closest one would be actually uh, Abyssus. So let's at least cut down on travel time to Tethys. Sure, why not? At the very least, once that colony is done, we can get rid of that um, frontier outpost. You can see the Sporfs have made it up here, being little bastards. This is fine, because I still have a route to these guys, and these guys are my, my conquest goal. So if the Sporfs are up here, you know, putting in a colony on Bagel. Bagel. Construction complete. Whatever. We've gotten along well enough anyway that, like, you know, the Sporfs, they're okay. They they traded with us when no one else would. Of course, they traded with us when, you know, we knew of three intergalactic species, or interstellar species, and two of them were at war with us, so who else would trade with us? We'll gather those specimens. Actually, that'll give me something to do with this guy, won't it? So... Let's see, track all of these guys on the map, which is a little annoying, I can't do this. Anywhere that we can get to. Yes, one. But it needs to be skill three, but I don't have skill three because, oh! you jerk stores oh you jerk stores <sighs> fine whatever I don't care <laughs> we'll get to you when we get to you all right third colony on the go 2050 we've been at this for 50 years And what did we get out of it? A battleship and a cruiser that we lost in our first war. In our first attack in our first war, basically. It's been a good time for the Commonwealth of Man, you know? But, I mean, on the plus side, we came out of that war on top, right? So... At least the galaxy knows how, how tough and strong we are. way over here okay just you know keep no why are you coming back for that seriously you are surrounded surrounded by places you have no idea of and you're like mm, turn around we're in the heart of the unknown turn around we missed one 
it's going to wind up growing into Sporf manufacturing anyway. So we'll just have to do this manually. And then, you know, by the time Dr. Captain Graham here is done, all of this will be able to come and take a look at the vial or Arinthi and send them back to, to Unity for uh, further examination. So that'll be nice. Yeah, you guys have declared the Tekaris Assimilators your rivals as well. I'd love to just just be like, hey, let's be friends, except everybody hates them. So I'm not going to do that. Back. I could just join in for, um, for bonuses with basically everybody. Just little diplomatic bonuses, so now even the UN and the Confederation of Yervolta will be like, well, but at least you don't like them. Complete. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're losing money, that must mean the uh, the colony ship's ready to go. The CNS Summit, on the way to the Furcad sector system. Star system charted. All right, the Potter system has been uh, researched, so that's not at all what I was looking for. Where's my science ships? There we go. Complete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's lovely. Hopefully, we'll find like where's the spots? We gotta have the space goats somewhere, and the space hobbits. They'll be out here too. Not to mention fallen empires. We've yet to hit a fallen empire. I imagine one here. Maybe? I don't know. We could possibly uh, trade star charts for star charts, and we'll send you a little bit of energy. Construction complete. Lovely. So now we got the Moo aliens, who we might as well research. Is that really all? That's all you've done? You went? Okay. Weird. Yeah, but that's Moo aliens and that's unidentified. So I would imagine the unidentified is a fallen empire. I could just be hopeful there that Spork Order is bordering a uh, a fallen empire. But really, it's not. I'm a little upset there. There are Sporks. You haven't done much. But that's okay. Yeah, the Tekar simulators are coming like right up here. They're equivalent to us, though, and these guys are a little too strong to push through, I think. So, you know, I'm hoping Hiken holds. And really, the Takar's Assimilators had nowhere else to go. So, I don't blame them for coming up and doing what they're doing. Let's get that upgraded. Durkheim, can you upgrade as well? No, we are lacking quite a lot of minerals to do so. That's fine. Um, might as well get you building some power. I mean, I understand that we're not necessarily in a total power deficit, but more power is always good. the spouts how's it going space goats we'll fight for a right to exist where are you way down here are you not are they not bordered by anybody yeah you're not exactly big fans of us are you but the mutual threats that's nice Oh, come, come now. There we go. So we got new aliens. <laughs> see? You see? That's funny. Uh, so what do we got there? There's new, and that's new as well, huh? And that's new, and that's new. There's a lot of new aliens there. Let's research those guys. Because I'd like to know who's building up in the rim here. Construction complete. 
Okay, so we got that uh, power station done. That's good. We might as well get another power station done. Yeah. Actually, yeah, because we're also going to be getting research stations out the wazoo going there. We're going to need to pay to, to keep them going. Oh, the Ronto Swarm, of course, will fight for a right to exist. Those guys are a bit big, and I'm concerned. Because <clears throat> they are a devouring swarm. Uh, so, but hey, you know what? That's the Spote's problems. And, and that's fine. I wonder, I mean, there, there's got to be a fallen empire between us then. Yeah, there has to be, right? We'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> Star system charted. And taking a look at things. Like, we've got the uh, energy stockpile. That I wonder if we could go for Rathador and colonize that as well. Now, we're going to have mineral production, we're going to have power production. We're going to have a little bit of food, okay. Uh, I think we can send this from Durkheim. We're going to put it there so we get bonuses to that, then we can put a uh, energy nexus or a whatever it is and a farm there so we can get all four things going. Delphi, perfect, lovely. Construction complete. Thank you. And with that... At the beginning of the year 2252, I think this is going to be a good spot to leave the video for today. So, uh, we're not, we're still not the world's, or the galaxy's strongest empire. Uh, but we are certainly, you know, getting ourselves a little bit bigger. The main concern, uh, before this truce timer runs out, you know, next year, I guess, would be positioning ourselves so that we're able to take on both of these guys in a war of conquest and I think in a war of conquest what I would like to do is liberate these two human planets uh, I want to liberate them now I know I said we're going conquest and that's why I went with supremacy instead of domination but I feel if we liberate these guys then that gives us uh, you know a potential ally in the future which is good <clears throat> but it, it more so limits the UN. And then when we want to go after the Confederation of Eovol, Eovol, Ka, once we get the tech, oh, what we could also do is go after these guys, vassalize these guys, right? Damn, I can't. The Galactic Axis. So as long as it's just those two in the Galactic Axis, it's fine. Um, if we can vassalize these guys, I guess. <clears throat> And then what we would do is just not uh, absorb them until we can terraform planets we already live on. So just have those guys kind of be our bitch and provide, well, I don't know. I'll mull it over. I'll figure it out for next time. Not necessarily that I'm saying we're ready to go to war again next time. Because uh, we really do need to build up our empire before we go to war. But, uh, you know, we're going to have to plan out our, our next attack, and I mean, I think it only makes sense to go after the UN and the space cockroaches. Because uh, anyone else is way too big. Anyway! Uh, that's the story for another day. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed today's episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.